Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. So today we're going to react to it. Who that? Gig boy. Julius. Guys, today we're going to react to Jordan Peterson, guys. I'm going to react to Jordan Peterson, destroy reporter on the gender pay gap, feminist and equality of outcome. Guys, it's Jordan Peterson, guys. Like, I feel when you talk about Jordan Peterson, you just see someone that is really, really wise that talks based on yeah, research yeah, and facts. Like, the, this guy like, is very, very smart. smart. I, I like. Yeah, like, he is good. Guys, let's get straight into this. No, they're not being taught that they, that it's important to develop yourself. But does it, does it bother you that your audience is predominantly male? Does that, isn't, isn't that a bit divisive? No, no, I don't think so. I mean, it's no more divisive than the fact that YouTube is primarily male and Tumblr is primarily well, that's pretty divisive, female. Isn't well, it? Tumblr is primarily female. But you're just saying that's the way it is. Well, it's, I'm not saying anything. It's just an observation that that's the way it is. Um, yeah. There's plenty of women that are watching my lectures and coming to my talks wow. and buying my books. It's just that the majority of them happen to be men. Uh, it's, what's in I, it for the women, though? Well, what sort of partner do you want? You want an overgrown child? Or do you want <laughs> someone to contend with that's going to help you? And so you're you saying rely on? women have some sort of duty to sort of help fix the crisis of masculinity? Well, it depends on what they want. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's exactly, exactly how I laid it out. Like, uh, women want, deeply want men who are competent and powerful. And, and I don't mean power in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in that they can exert tyrannical control over others. That's not power. That's just corruption. Power is competence. And why in the world would you not want a competent partner? Well, I, I know why, actually. You can't dominate a competent partner. So, so if you want women domination... Want to dominate, is that what you're saying? No, I'd say women who have had their relationships impaired with... Impaired... Their relationships with men impaired and who are afraid of such relationships will settle for a weak partner because they can dominate them. But it's a suboptimal solution. Do you think that's what a lot of women good. are doing? I think there's a substantial minority of women who do that. And I think it's very bad for them. They're very unhappy. It's very bad for their partners. Although their partners get the advantage of not having to take any responsibility. Mm. But what gives you the right to say that? I mean, maybe that's how women want their relationships, those women. I mean, you're making these vast generalizations. I'm a clinical psychologist. Right, so you've, you're saying you've done <laughs> your research and women are unhappy dominating men. I didn't say they were unhappy dominating men. I well, said you... it was a bad long-term solution. Okay, you said it was it's making the them miserable. Thing. Yes, it is. And it depends on the time frame. I mean, there can be, there's intense pleasure in momentary domination. That's why people do it all the time. But it's no formula for a long-term, successful long-term relationship. That's reciprocal, right? Any long-term relationship is reciprocal, virtually by definition. So... Let me put a quote to you from the sure. book. Where you say, there are whole disciplines in universities forthrightly hostile towards men. These are the areas of study dominated by the postmodern stroke neo-Marxist claim that Western culture in particular is an oppressive structure created by white men to dominate and exclude women. But then I want to put Minorities to you... too, who dominate and exclude okay, minorities sure. and women. But I want to put to you that here in the UK, for example, let's take that as an example, the gender pay gap stands at just over 9%. You've got women at the BBC recently saying that the broadcaster is illegally paying them less than men to do the same job. You've got only seven women running the top FTSE 100 companies. Yeah. So it seems to a lot of women that they're still being dominated and excluded, to quote your words back to you. It does seem that way, but multivariate analysis of the pay gap indicate that it doesn't exist. But that's just so not do, true, is it? I mean, that 9% pay gap, that's a gap between median hourly earnings yeah. between men and women. But there's that multiple, exists. Yeah, but there's multiple reasons for that. One of them is gender, but it's not the only reason. Like, if you're a social scientist worth, worth your salt, you never do a univariate analysis. Like, yeah. you say, well, women in aggregate are paid less than men. Okay, well, then we break it down by age. We break it down by... Occupation. We break it down by interest. We break it down by personality. But you're saying basically it doesn't matter if women aren't getting to the top because that's what's skewing that gender pay gap, isn't it? You're saying, well, that's just a fact of not life. Saying women it aren't necessarily matter. going to get to the top. No, I'm not saying it doesn't matter either. You're saying I'm it's saying a fact saying there are of multiple life. reasons for it. Yeah, but and those reasons, why, why should women put up with those reasons? Why should, why should women, women be content not, not to get to the top? I'm not saying that they should put up with it. I'm saying that the claim that the wage gap between men and women is only due to sex is wrong. And it is wrong. 
There's no doubt about that. The multivariate analysis have been done. So well, I, I can give you, you an example. You keep on talking Wait about multivariate analysis. Let me give no, 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 example. No, no. I'm saying that 9% pay gap exists. Yeah. Yeah. That's a gap between men and women. I'm not saying why it exists, but it exists. Now, yeah, if you're you a woman, that seems exists. pretty unfair. You have to say why it exists. But do you agree that it's unfair? If you're a woman... Not necessarily. And on average, you're getting paid 9% less than a man. That's not fair, is They're it? Get angry. Yeah. It depends on why it's happening. Of course. I can give you an example. Guys, here we are. Okay. There's a personality trait known as agreeableness. Agreeable people are compassionate and polite. And agreeable people get paid less than, dis than less agreeable people for the same job. Women are more agreeable than men. Again, a vast generalization. Some it's women not are not more agreeable than yes, men. Yes, that's true, but that's right. And some women get paid more than men. So you were saying that, by and large, women are too agreeable to get the pay rises they I'm, deserve. No, I'm saying that that's one component of a multivariate equation that predicts um, salary. It accounts for maybe 5% of the variance, something like that. So surely so you the need answer... About another 20, you need about another 18 factors, one of which is gender. And so there is prejudice. There's no doubt about that but it accounts for a much smaller proportion of the variance in the pay gap than the radical feminists claim. Okay, so rather than denying the pay gap exists, which is what you did at the beginning of this conversation, shouldn't you say to women, rather than being agreeable and not asking per, for a pay rise, go and ask for a pay rise. I, Make yourself disagreeable with your boss. Oh, definitely, there's that. But I also didn't deny it existed. I denied it existed because of gender. Okay. See, because I'm very, very, very careful with my words. So the pay gap exists, you accept that, but you're yes. saying, I mean, the pay gap between men and women exists, but you're saying it's not because of gender, it's because women are too agreeable to ask for pay rises. So it's make one them, of the reasons. Okay, one of the reasons. So why not get them to ask for a pay rise? I've Wouldn't that be that, a fair I've way of proceeding? I've done that many, many times in my career. And they just I've don't. Oh, they do it all the time. You can, it's, so one of the things that you do as a clinical psychologist is um, assertiveness training. So you might say, Often you treat people for anxiety, you treat them for depression, um, and, you, and, and maybe the next most common category after that would be assertiveness training. And so I've had many, many women, extraordinarily competent women in my clinical and consulting practice, and we put together strategies for their career development that involve continual pushing, competing for higher wages, and often tripled their wages within a five-year period. And you them celebrate how to that? Of course. So... Do you, do you agree that you would be happy if that pay gap was eliminated completely? It because that's depend. all the radical feminists are saying. It would depend on how it was eradicated and how the, how, how the disappearance of it was measured. And you're These saying if you it's can, at the cost of men, that's a problem? Oh, there's all sorts of things that it could be at the cost of. It could even be at the cost of women's own interests. So, because they might not be happy if they get equal pay. No, because it might interfere with other things that are causing the pay gap that women are choosing to like do. Like having well, children. Well, or choosing careers that actually happen to be paid less, which women do a lot of. But why shouldn't women have the right to choose not to have children or the right to choose they, those they, demanding careers? They do. They can. Yeah, that's fine. But you're saying that makes them unhappy, by and large. I'm saying that that... No, I'm not saying that. I'm, I, and I actually haven't said that so far You're in the saying program. it makes them miserable. No, I said beginning. that what was making them miserable was having, part, was having weak partners. That makes them miserable. Right. Um, I would say that many women around the age of, I would say between 28 and 32, have a career family crisis that they have to deal with. And I think that's partly because of the foreshortened time frame that women have to contend with. Like, women have to get the major pieces of their life put together faster than men, which is also partly why men aren't under so much pressure to grow up. So because for the typical woman, um, she has to have her career and family in order pretty much by the time she's 35, because otherwise the options start to run out. And so that puts a tremendous amount of stress on women, especially at the end of their 20s. I think I take issue with the idea of the typical woman, because, mm -hmm. you know, all women are different. And that's why I want to just put another quote to you from the book. Well, you they're say... different in some ways and the same in others. Okay, you say women become more vulnerable when they have children. Oh, yes. And you talked to one of your YouTube interviews about crazy harpy sisters. So, simple question. Is gender equality a myth in your view? Is that something that's just never going to happen? It depends on what you mean by equality. No, Being if treated you mean fairly, men and women getting are... the same opportunities. Fairly. People, 
we could get to a point where people were treated fairly or more fairly. I mean, people are treated pretty fairly in Western culture already, but we can well, They're really that. not, though, are they? I mean, otherwise, well, why would there only be seven women running FTSE 100 companies in the UK? Why, why would there still be a pay gap, which we've oh, discussed? Well, that's that's easy, like, that's why are women at the question. BBC saying that they're getting paid illegally less than men to do the same job? Well, let, that's not fair, well, is let's it? let's go to the first question. They're, well, those are complicated questions. Seven, seven women, re repeat that one. There's seven women seven. running the top FTSE 100 companies in the UK. Okay. Well, the I first, mean, the first question might be... Um, why would you want to do that? Why would a man, man want to do it? I well, mean, there's a lot are, of money, it's certain, an interesting job. There's a job, certain you know? number of, of men, although not that many, who are perfectly willing to sacrifice virtually all of their life to the pursuit of a high-end career. So they'll work. These are men that are very intelligent. They're usually very, very conscientious. They're very driven. They're very high energy. They're very healthy. And they're willing to work 70 or 80 hours a week non-stop, specialized at one thing to get to the top. So you're saying women are just more sensible. They don't want that because it's not a nice life. I'm saying that's part of it, definitely. And so I work for... So you, for... you don't think there are barriers in their way that prevent them getting to the top oh, of Oh, there are companies? some barriers, yeah. Like, other, like men, for example. I mean, to get to the top of any organization is an incredibly competitive enterprise. And the men that you're competing with are simply not going to roll over and say, please take the position. So it's, let me come back to my question. It's absolute all-out warfare. Is gender equality a myth? I, I don't know what you mean by the question. Men and women aren't the same, and they won't be the same. That doesn't mean they can't be treated fairly. Is gender equality desirable? If it means equality of outcome, then almost certainly it's undesirable. That's already been demonstrated in Scandinavia. Because in Scandinavia... What do you mean by that? Equality of outcome is undesirable. Well, men and women won't sort themselves into the same categories if you leave them alone to do it off their own accord. I've already seen that in Scandinavia. It's 20 to so, 1 female nurses to male, something like that. It might not be quite that extreme. And approximately the same male engineers to female engineers. And that's a consequence of the free choice of men and women in the societies that have gone farther than any other societies to make gender e equality the purpose of the law. Those are ineradicable differences. You can eradicate them with tremendous social pressure and tyranny. But if you leave men and women to make their own choices, you will not get equal outcomes. Right, so you're saying that anyone who believes in equality, whether you call them feminists, call them whatever you want to call them, should basically give up because it ain't going to happen. Only if they're aiming at equality of outcome. So you're saying give people equality of, of opportunity, that's fine. It's not only fine, it's eminently desirable for everyone, for individuals and for society. But still women aren't going to make it, that's what you're really it saying. It depends on your measurement techniques. They're doing just fine in medicine. In fact, there are far more female physicians than there are male physicians. There are, there are lots, of, uh, lots of disciplines that are absolutely dominated by women. Many... Hmm. Guys, seriously, I don't think it's to finish. So, but like, is he fighting for the women or he's fighting for, for the, the men? men? He's fighting for the men. He I'm sure fighting he's fighting for the men because he said uh, like 700 companies and you see only seven women like they are the higher yeah, top. top. Yeah. So so yeah, I'm sure he's fighting for the men. He's fighting for the men. And he said like there are some positions that occupation that that are reserved for the women. So. Why would a man want to be a nurse? <laughs> a nurse. A man. A man doing that. Yeah, it's like a woman's job, like. Yes. yes. Yeah, there are, there are some aspects of jobs. Job. It's mainly for women. But I believe in equality, though. Like, I feel everyone has to be treated right. Yeah, like, of course. Everyone has to that, pay that, equally. That's, that's, but I mean, this equality, I, I, I don't know. It shouldn't be like that. No, come on. We ah, we have we have to the men have. You see? I, I, don't, I don't understand, I don't get it why we have to take care of the house and at the same time, we take a, we use our own money to take care of the house. Yes. yes. We'll be taking, um, like the pay gap, you would say. Yeah. We'll be taking something more. High, high amount. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, so, I think if, if you're the husband and your wife is taking, I ask her, like, you're the thing you should be happy. <laughs> not really. You do. Not really. <laughs> because I feel, I feel ah. if your wife is taking the higher salary, you won't feel comfortable like you feel the vibe like, in the marriage. Yeah, like because a man is supposed to be the yeah. provider. Yes. Like you're supposed to be the one, be the one taking care of them. Always, it's not a always, it's not a always, yeah. always. The wife will be like just commanding you. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be that way. Like in case you take so, like four thousand, your wife take like seven thousand. 
Yeah. So, like, see, like, like, she just commanding you in the house. I'm, I'm the one bringing the money, like, that kind of stuff. That is, I feel like, like, like men tend to go for women. And the the, the, the pattern said, if Jonah Peterson was a woman, she's going to feel like it's unfair. Because, nah. Nah. no, wait, there are some, there are some instances the man takes a high pay. Yeah, mm. woman. Yes. That one, they, they're supposed to keep quiet, right? Yes. Yeah, they have to. So if a woman takes a high pay and the man is taking a, a lower pay, the man is, is, is also supposed to keep quiet. Yeah. Because that's what they do. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, yeah. it, it's not his fault. Oh, like, <laughs> and in the video, you can see that the, the lady was, the reporter was fighting for herself. Yeah, like, she, she yeah, was making herself, it look like, so she was fight, like, she was fighting for herself. She's a woman. You have to understand. Yes. Because if I, I think he said women are more agreeable than men. Yes. yes. So when you are, you are taking a high pay and the woman agrees. Mm. So, and see, and see, some women they won't agree. Yeah. And and this saying that uh, what. Men can do a woman, woman can, can do better. Do better. <laughs> 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 but it's true, some women are they are yeah. like I think women go faster than men. Yeah. yeah. And I feel there are more women in the world than men. So they have yes. more hey. voting power. More women. But like more I feel women, women still choose to make the men rule. Like it's it's something implanted in us from belt. Yeah, so there's a reason that women like to dominate. Yeah. So, Yes, mm. and I heard like some women they want to, like they don't want to be a leader. Yes, and they always push like they always push the men to be yes. leaders. And like some women they, now, they can't lead. Now now they are competing with us. Like, like so no so women so women want to be taken care of. So women don't want those stuff. Like but, but so women don't. Yes, yeah, no. of course. See, no, see. <laughs> <laughs> some women are bossy. Yeah, they don't want anyone to like uh, uh, take care of them. Yeah, so, but most women them. want to be taken care of. Most women want to be housewife. Like they don't want oh, to work. Half, hey, like half seriously, half like I just time. Oh, I just time. Yeah, most women, housewife is not really, common now. Housewife. Most women they want to have that job, but not as intensive like you know you're gonna put a lot if you're a man you know uh, you have to I feed think, the woman but the woman that, won't walk that way that, like there are some responsibilities you have to accept yes you have to be in this world yeah so if yes. you're a man a man will be the leader yes yeah. and was, yet they don't understand the ladies don't understand oh, that's some that's ladies though it's nature. I think some it's ladies nature. do understand yeah. most, most ladies most yeah. ladies don't understand they always want to be at the top yeah, bossy, bossy lifestyle. Guys, that's so how you feel about this video in the comment section, guys. Be sure to like, share, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace.